What's going on guys? What's happening? Hey, uh, beautiful day out here. Not really. We're supposed to get some rain, but we are out flyering a neighborhood. Show them the flyer. Uh, this is what it looks like. We put the price of the mowing right here. Bed edging, mulching, spring and fall cleanups, price of aeration, hedge trimming. Ask about a monthly payment plan. Little guy on the mower, obviously my phone number. That's how we're doing the flyers, nice, easy, easy to read. If they want bed edging, they can call, mulching, things like that, hedge trimming. Um, these are basically small yards. All the bigger yards we're going 50 and up on. Um, so, hey, what are you guys doing to get ready for the season? I know a lot of you are working on equipment, and a lot of you guys are already working I, I know some people have cut some yards already which is crazy but this year is crazy we're going to be out aerating this friday already uh as far as the weather is conducive to it but uh hey we're going to pass some flyers out we've got a huge neighborhood here i went and bought 300 of them this morning and uh that's a good start We'll probably buy another 300 to 800 because uh, we've got so many different areas we want to hit. But hey, guys, let us get to work. We'll talk about some things today, and uh, it's just basically going to be a talking video. But, you know, about what are we doing to get ready for the season? Um, obviously, you know, I bought the mowers. Uh, we will be going over those mowers this week when we have a chance. Um, Supposed to get rain tomorrow, so we'll be working inside, so I probably won't do a video tomorrow. Um, other than that, I'll show you some of the houses in the area. Not huge, pretty nice. Some of them really small. Got a lot of back uh, fenced-in backyards, so I may end up picking up a uh, Toro Time Master or something, but we'll see. Hey, let's go and uh i'll be back all right guys so we're back we're uh doing these little little houses here these are small all the way down so we're changing the pricing on that uh that yard is about a 40 dollar yard to me at least in our area they're so small you can see the backyards kind of back there there's not much to them um Obviously, this is a little more expensive. You got a lot more area. My hope is, and you never know because it's all, you know, I, I think if you get 1% return on your flyers, 1% to 5% is really your sweet spot. I've never gotten 10%. I usually get 1% to 3%, but... Uh, my hope is not just for the mowing, but the mulching, the hedge trimming, because that's where we really make the money is on the mulch and the edging. So my hope is that's where we really hit it with some of these houses. And uh, I have one house in an area about a quarter of a mile away. So the lady said, hey, I know you've only got my house. And I've been with her eight years, so I don't want to let her go. And she told me about this neighborhood. And so, I mean, it's endless how many homes are in here. There's got to be at least, if I was to guess, probably 350, 400 homes. So if you get 1% of that, hey, it pays for the time. And uh, at least I don't come down in this area just for one house. And I'm really tired of doing that. This is the only house on my route that is out of the loop. So I really want to hit this area hard. But uh, anyway, guys, what do you think about, what do you do to advertise? Because I'll tell you right now, I am never going to pay for an ad in the paper. I'm not going to take out a 
you know, we used to call them circulars where they hang the bag on your mailbox and you come out and there's a bunch of ads and stuff in it. I'm not going to do that. That's way too expensive. So how do you guys do it? Uh, let me know. All right, guys. So we just got done passing out flyers in the neighborhood. We had to go pick them all up. All that weren't taken. Let me show you why. When you pull in this neighborhood, the sign, instead of being, now this is not where we came in because obviously we can see this coming down the road. No soliciting. But when you pull in the other area, the sign is tucked back in. You can't see it. So we pulled in and started flyering. Did almost, I mean, you go figure, count them up. Some of them were already taken, so if we get in trouble, or if I get in trouble, it's on me. But how in the world do you tuck a sign back on the other entrance that says no soliciting and expect people to see that? I don't know. Let's go on. Um, an hour, An hour's worth of work just down the drain and we had to pick them all back up that is uh well i'm pissed off to say the least and uh what do you think man all we can see is wow and we both made the joke on our way out we said wouldn't it be funny if there was a no soliciting sign sure enough there's a no soliciting sign un yeah Guys, be careful, beware when you are out putting out flyers that you look around. Because there were there were some non-soliciting signs on the houses themselves. And of course, we didn't put flyers on those. But how in the world do you... I mean, how do they expect these people to get services if you cannot solicit... By putting a flyer up, how in the world are these people going to get taken care of? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, we're going to go hit another neighborhood. I've got to be at the dentist at 2 o'clock today. This is ridiculous. And all that time and gas, I'll tell you guys, it just I'm just pissed off. That's all. Should I have seen the sign? Probably. But the way they have it. If you see most neighborhoods in Columbus, if you've been to Columbus, the neighborhood sign is straight in front of you as soon as you pull in. Nothing turned sideways, hiding behind bushes with uh, a little thing hanging from it. So, just really pissed me off. Anyway, let's go on to the next place and uh, hopefully there's no non-soliciting signs on it anywhere. I'll be back. So let me show you guys some of the houses we're dropping off at now. These are some monster homes. All right, it's starting to rain, so we got about another 20 minutes and we gotta go. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, so these are the last of the houses for the day. It's starting to rain. And I'll tell you what, uh, this video is probably going to be an absolute mess, but uh, got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful when you're out. Justin's going to go pass some out when I go to the dentist. Those will be the $40, $45 yards. Uh, of course, these are not $40 and $45 yards. As you can see, these are some monster houses here. A lot of edging. But uh, hope we get some of them. You never know. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. What do you think, man? Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Uh, laws are crazy, but you have to abide by them. So, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, beware. Make sure you're not going to get yourself in trouble. And I'll keep you updated on whether I do get a call from anybody about those because I know we didn't get them all. Uh, some people came out and got them, and I'm sure some people aren't happy about getting them. So, anyway...
Appreciate y'all watching, and as always, Dr. Real has got to get out and make some money, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.